Welcome back to another client product walkthrough. I'm Lucas Eddy, and today we're looking at the newly redesigned Latitude jacket and pant. This is our really solid mid-level, but honestly, it's a little higher than mid-level performance touring setup here for all kinds of weather from warm to rain, everything you can think of. There's one step higher above this, the Kodiak jacket and pant. That is your all features, no holds barred, everything in it. Touring setup, this thing is a really solid, super popular, and it has been for a long time, super popular touring setup here for all kinds of riders. So let's get right into it. There's a lot to go over here. Starting at the top, we've got a comfortable collar up here around the top, uh, wet weather friendly. And then of course you can pull those tabs down if it gets too hot. At the top, there's a cinch there to kind of cinch it up tighter if you want, or you can add the Torrent Storm collar around the cuff there if it's really getting super gnarly outside. But anyways, let's keep moving through here. As we're talking about vents up here at the collar, there are some more vents throughout the jacket. We have a really popular vent down here at the arm. This is a double headed zipper here, so you can zip up the bottom or you can zip down the top. You can open it up big time, get a lot of airflow in there or just a little bit. Helps you get your gloves on. It's a really popular zipper we have on a lot of jackets now at this point. Okay, moving up. Then we have two vents here in the upper chest. And then there are also, also exhaust vents around the back of the jacket as well. So you get some good airflow through your arms, through your torso, up through the collar. That's all good to go. Moving down through the pants, we also have some vents here on the side of the leg and then on the back as well as an exhaust vent. So when you're kind of behind that touring fairing, you're still gonna get some airflow there through the upper leg. So we built in vents for the warm weather, for the wet weather, for the colder weather. The whole thing is Gore-Tex, of course, you know, waterproof, breathable construction that we always do here at Climb for these kind of touring pieces. But as we talk about the fabrics here, a key thing to note is under the arms and in the back of the shoulders, we built in these stretch panels. So you can raise up your arm, flex those shoulders a lot more easily. If you wanna keep turning around here, this whole back area right here is all stretch material. And what we did before is we eliminated this gusset here that's like multiple layers of fabric. We reduced that bulk so it's lighter and we reduce that thickness, reduce that weight. So the whole thing is a lot more comfortable there when you're on the bike. Um, and we did that consciously knowing that we would receive a lower CEA abrasion resistance rating. So most of this stuff should be CEAA. Usually it is. All the burly fabrics are in the right places but we consciously did that here with this lighter fabric, that stretch material, um, knowing we would receive a lower CEA rating because it's up there in a few areas that doesn't pass that test for CEAA. So you'll see that, but don't be turned away by it. We trust all the other materials that we have in the construction we have and the rest of the garment. So let's talk about those fabrics. Up here we have a Cordura 600 denier fabric here in the shoulders and down in the knees and in the seat. And then we have leather here, perforated leather in the elbows. It's going to help us in breathability. You get some of that breathability through the Gore-Tex, through that perforated leather. And of course we have perforated leather down in the knees, in between the knees as well for some protection on your bike, some grip, some comfort, and of course, abrasion protection. And with that covered for the abrasion fabrics, let's jump into pockets here on the jacket and pant. We have two zippered chest pockets there that are behind a storm flap actually. And you can easily access them with gloves on, of course, and then go ahead and pop that front zipper open. Then on the inside, we have a whole set of zippered pockets on the liner as well. There's one up there on the left chest, one in the lower hand area, and then on the right side, there are pockets as well. And then of course, down here on that left arm, we have that stack card pocket uh, for your medical card information there. So if you get in an accident, EMTs, EMS can be looking for that symbol and find your medical information if it's relevant. Now, more pockets on the pants. There are two hand pockets, kind of jean style, zippered hand pockets there on the side, and then a zippered leg pocket there as well. So you can kind of access that when you're sitting down as well. Uh, and inside of that leg zip pocket, there is a small organizer also. So you can kind of keep your keys or your chapstick or whatever, your earplugs separate from the other things in your pocket. And the last thing to go over here are the adjustment features we added to the jacket. That's one thing we did improve in this new generation of the jacket. We have a uh, adjustment strap here on the bicep and then two adjustment straps on the lower waist and a zipper there as well. So you can really expand it or contract it as much as you want. And then of course, like I mentioned down here at the cuffs with those zippers, we also have adjustable cuffs that you're used to. And it's kind of articulated and tapered in a way to fit a little bit more comfortably with gloves down there. Now, last thing is down here on the legs, you're used to that adjustment feature behind the knee to kind of cinch that pad up and keep that pad in place there behind your knee. And then of course, an adjustable bottom hem there with the snap buttons. So that about sums up the newly redesigned Latitude jacket and pant. If you guys have any questions, hit us up in the comments below. Find us on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter. I think that's all of them. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.